All right, I got so much stuff to undo and redo, and did I not put the overlay up that time? I don't know, I but I tried spawning in the bottom right position of Shakira's plateau, the MLG version, in fact. Oh, and repairing his SCVs in very high orderly fashion uh, at the very beginning of the game versus the purple Zerg. Oh my god, we have a Zerg. Wait, Holy we already had a Zerg. We already had a Zerg. What are you, what are you talking about? We have a Zerg. Oh no, man. I'm tired. It's like four hours past my bedtime. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we do have XO Firehawk playing for the team XO. And, uh, yeah, I have to fix the overlay, so start talking. Yeah, so while he fixes the overlay, I'm just going to talk in this nice voice about how Pride just won that last game. How close it was. How close that Protoss player almost beat Pride. And that game would have been a loss for but Pride, a.k.a. win. But he came out on top and did win that game. So Pride, here on Shakira's Plateau, is going to try and beat this Zerg player, XL Firehawk. Indeed. Uh, so, we do have normal builds so far for both players. No gas for Pride. He's gonna make a barracks first. <gasps> and not start a second SCV? No. Oh, 11-11? Oh, 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 oh. What? Yeah, but look at this drone scout for Firehawk. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Pride's like, oh, crap. <laughs> There's a drone me. scout. You are telling me. So we'll see if uh, that drone does happen to find this, but uh, Firehawk is going to put down his hatchery. And does fire is Firehawk Dude. Be here on the base? Does he know? Does he know? Oh, she, he's gonna steal a gas. That doesn't seem very effective. See? <laughs> no. That he's going for my freaking two racks. Well, even what? What was his other option? I mean, like, uh, Pride's other option is to go for what? Like, run one rack. One rack to span. Yeah. I bet that's what Firehawk's thinking. But, why but if he's very careful and counts the SUVs and sees how there is only, in fact, 14 instead of 15, oh no. I am looking confused. I am la very confused. But anyway, Firehawk is going to be getting this 15 hatch like a normal Zerg player does, being a very Zerg-ish type of player. Being a very uh, zerg -y Zerg? Yeah. Right, let, wait, let's look at Firehawk's vision here. He hasn't even checked the left gas. <laughs> Alright, I don't think he has any idea what's coming. I, I don't, think yeah, it's just I think... a reactor helium. And uh, Pride is gonna wall uh, off. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Third has to be a little late. He kind of uh, just gave away his plan a little, a little too early there, in my opinion. Yeah, he is getting Which three is all bunkers matters, started, like though, and two oh, Marines wow. are here. Yeah, uh, three bunkers are started, and these drones getting pulled off the line are so crucial. Which he's not mining at all. Yeah. Basically. Basically not mining. Ten at all. lings are in production, though. That should be enough to maybe get close to breaking this. Pride is working on that third bunker now, and two Marines do get down in that bunker. Not going to be a great surround point by any means here, and uh, this, is, this is working uh, so far. Yeah, this is definitely working for Pride here, and it looks like... Firehawk's just gonna go, maybe cut off reinforcements. Yeah, that looks exactly what he's gonna do. But Pride is gonna go back into that bunker, get even more link kills. Oh my gosh, this is looking so bad for the Zerg player. Yeah, uh, these four Marines by themselves doing a ton of damage. I mean, like just this little bit of stuff coming back across the map again, gonna do so much. It's unbelievable. And uh, we do have Pride probably gonna fill this bunker again. There is one spine crawler complete, so Firehawk should be. I mean, he's not going to die from this. But, oh, oh moving it up. A God. little bit aggressively. Uh, oh. That is so close. Is it going to die? I think it might. I think he might I not say that. debating sacking I don't... the expansion. He just moved his spine crawler into his main, man. Uh-oh. Uh, what, what is that spine doing? I'm hiding. Shh. <laughs> Shh. I'm hiding. I don't know, man. Stop. All right. Stop. Well, we do have the hatchery Shh. down at half health now. Six Marines up here, another two just chilling. Pride doesn't even care. He's not making an expansion, though. That's kind of odd. I think he should be. Oh, he's going down now. And, uh, yeah, this hatch is going to die, and there are no probes on the map to uh, expand anywhere else. <laughs> You're right. There are no probes on the map. <laughs> you see, shut up. You <laughs> shut up. <laughs> hey, I'm a spy crawler. He can't see me. 
That is a hidden spine crawler, though. I mean, there's not much else if, to say. Just like Pride hid those two racks, that spine crawler is also hidden. And it's the proxy spine. Um, uh, Pride getting into the main, scouting both the gases. Oh, jeez. Why? Why are you so good? Uh, let's take a look at the income tab right now. We see 16 drones to the 20 harvesters of the Terran. And obviously the Terran is going to be on two base very soon. And the Sir Claire is not. Ha ha ha. And yeah, it's uh, what does Firehawk do? He's going to try and bailing the bus, but is that going to work? I mean, if I was Pride, I would just wall off the bottom of my ramp, wall off the top of my ramp, Dude. wall off the ramp, my freaking main. And I'll make like five walls and be like, Raffle, like when Pride right now could wall off the bottom of the Zerg's ramp to stop this baneling bus, okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's right, actually. He get, unless he gets a Nidus Worm. Uh, that's true, but there's no lair on the way. It's gonna be a long game, folks. <laughs> I think he might try and get a Nidus Worm. No way, dude. No, you would have started the lair. Oh my god. No way. There's no way he's doing this. There's no way. He's not going for a Nidus. <laughs> He, uh, he, he's gonna get bailing speed. He's gonna try to mutilisk. Uh, he's getting a lot of gas, so mutas are very effective. And he actually stopped mining gas. Okay, Does, I am what, so confused. Doesn't it, Nidus cause gas to put down? It costs like, 200 to build gas to build. And then 100 gas to make another, like an exit. <laughs> Plus banelings. Is he not gonna make banelings? I... Okay, like, I, I'm sorry if I'm trolling, but like, this is weird. Okay, the, mining gas again, but well, I, I think I think this doesn't work against him most of the time. So I think he just like is at a loss for what he needs to do here, right? He's like, well, I need yeah. banelings to bust this, and he's like, well, this is way too late for a baneling bust. I need a nidus worm, and then he starts <laughs> to lit. I I think that's what happened. Like, like Zerg players at a high level don't get stuck in this position very often. Pride is just so <laughs> godly. So are you saying a bronze player can get out of this position? Well, all right. God, they might be more used to being in this position. That is a logical fallacy, my friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah, yeah. Nidus worms, pretty good, and he scans it. <laughs> He's like, okay, uh, mm, the bunk. <laughs> Wait, did he, he does see it, right? Okay, he yeah, does he scanned it. it. All right. Bunkers in the main. <laughs> bunkers at the natural. Bunkers at its third base. And bunkers at its fourth. Bunkers at the zone line. The watchtowers. Falls back with the marines at the front. This overseer coming over the middle might get sniped, actually. Dude. Dun dun. Oh, no. Marines oh, it's just missed. Yeah, marines in. Where's the nidus? Where it is? Where's the nidus? It <laughs> I, is. I, 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 letting a drone out to expand at the top. I am confused. Alright, well, it's 67 <laughs> to 41 supply. I am that confused. <laughs> it's 67 to 41 supply, 37 to 28 harvesters. Another night is going down at the bottom expansion. Pride looking everywhere for these night worms right now. He, he's gonna double expand. And um, yeah, man. seriously, S seriously, is this happening? Seriously? I don't know, dude. I don't know, bro. Seriously? Did he did he get the night so we could expand? Is that that would have been awkward, but I don't know what to say. That's what it looks like. He's at 42 supply right now. It's Pride 77. Pride is finishing stim, probably with combat shield, starting a factory, getting plus one, plus one. Um, I, I am at a loss. As a marine place. looking for an expansion for the Zerg player, a Nidus Worm coming down at the what? His elbow <laughs> expansion. I don't understand. Full of drum. I am super that confused. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I honestly don't. Does Firehawk actually think he can win the game if he does this? I don't know, man. I don't. Well, what do you? Th uh, like, no. I mean, he's getting expansions, but he can't make units out of the. Oh, yeah, I guess he could, but you have to go through the Nidus. And it's just a pain in the ass, I guess. But I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what Pride could be thinking right now. If I were him, I'd be like, wait. Uh, actually, if I were him, I'd just expand my third and be like, I have marines all over my base, you can't actually nidus my main. And just take a third and play normally? Like, look at the supplies right now. Yep. Um. Why? Alright, well, Harvester count right now, he is still in Terran's favor, 52 to 37. Actually, 
Pride has as many SCVs as Firehawk has supply. Um, Firehawk doing this. No, I don't okay, think. I, 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 I seriously. No, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna defend Firehawk and say he has like never been in this position before. Like, what, well, what, as a Zerg player, what would you do here? Let's, let's go with that. I would banning bust. I think that's what went through his head. And then I think he thought, there are three bunkers at the bottom of my ramp, and after this, I'm going to have to expand. And he thought that wasn't a viable option. And I think that's a reasonable thing to go through in your head. I don't think, I mean, I don't think any of it would work. But that's because, you know, tearing pretty good, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But, I mean, in his not defense, he should have scouted that T-Rex. He shouldn't have, like, assumed he was expanding or something. He should have definitely scouted his whole base. And made sure he wasn't, or something. But uh, I mean, right now. Yeah, but that's all a lot of work, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much work. All right. Uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, even if these expansions go and scout it and mine out the whole game, I still do not think Firehawk could win this game, because one, the supplies are doubled. Two, the tech is better for Pride. Upgrades better. Better units. More harvesters. You know. Did you just kill one of his yeah. own Marines? I think so. I don't know why, but he did. <laughs> I oh, am that confused. Yeah, stupid baneling mines. I I do like this actually. Obviously, who doesn't like broad baneling mines, right? But uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I mean, even if he kills as much as he can. With he oh can. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now he's gonna lose broad banlings, and I'm just never going. so carefully. <laughs> Wow. All right, 20 more drones in production for the Zerg player. Really taking a big risk here. That's a, it's a lot of drones, let me tell you. But, yeah, um, and just the pure micro of having to unload the Nidus, load him into the Nidus, like that sort of thing. Like, look at these drones at his, I guess, third base. Um, at the bottom third base, look at all those drones that are idle next to the rocks. Which See one is third base? At the bottom third, the bottom expansion, on the left side of the bottom. Oh, now I see them. Got it. Yeah. 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 But double supply, I don't, I don't know. Pride is playing extremely safe, and I like it. But, I mean, Firehawk just can't win. He has no units, man. He has no units. Yep. Pride running up here getting, oh, he's so good at, like, spreading his Marines early and stuff, too. It, like, really benefits him when these Banelings roll in. And, you know, these Banelings are going to come down and, like, Basically, he just traded a Baneling for a Marine, like, seven times. Yeah. Uh, even pulling probes to try to help defend this. Look, Pride is at 182 to 